everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm not as spry and perky as I usually am. And there's a reason for that. It's um, Tuesday morning. I believe today is the 30th. I'm just exhausted. I, I don't know why. I, uh, I guess you can get exhausted from inactivity, which is basically what mine is from. Um, I was able to re-injure my ankle, or I don't guess I should call it re-injuring it, I just <laughs> didn't do it any favors. Let me get on this Southern State Parkway. All these people driving like a bat out of hell. Anyway, so, I don't remember what day I went Walmart shopping. It might have been when, I think it was Wednesday. And I did a, a Walmart haul video, but I haven't uploaded it yet, so I will do that. I will upload it one day this week. You know, just showing y'all what I did buy and what we paid for and everything. I'm disappointed in myself because I went over my budget and I rang up the bananas twice. I'm going to get that 68 cents back. I'm not going to say Walmart would be surprising. Some of the baskets of stuff that I see in there that people have either returned or put back on the shelf after they decided not to buy it, it's just astounding at some of the stuff that people return. I was at the, the customer service desk one time. When I lived in Asbury Park, I was at the Supercenter there in Neptune. And I don't know if I was exchanging something or returning something or what, but there was a man that brought in a pair of boots that were just covered in, in dirt and grass. You could tell he had cut the, the, the grass in them. They had little grass cuttings all over them, and he claimed that they didn't fit. He wanted to refund. I said, uh, it's obvious you've already worn them. You can't return boots that you've already worn and didn't even bother to clean up. And he goes, tell somebody who cares. <laughs> so I just stayed there and waited because I was curious to see whether or not Walmart would return their money because Walmart is very lenient. They, they usually do, but they didn't. They called the, he complained and griped and they called the manager up there and she just refused to to re, uh, refund his money. I don't even think he had the receipt. But anyway, that's not what the video is about. The video is about that I have, uh, I'm not going to say I'm back to square one. Is there, can you be back to square five? <laughs> like you're only halfway as bad as you were when you first started? Um, that's how I feel with my ankle because after doing the Walmart shopping and having to lug all of that up the stairs, I did leave my Coke, my six pack of Coke, and my, I think it's three, it might be six packs of water, it's heavy, and um, my five pound bag of potatoes, I left that in the trunk. Thank God the soda didn't freeze and explode. Yeah, that was Wednesday. I'm tr I got my days mixed up. Yeah, Wednesday was the day that I did the food shopping, and then I went and picked uh, the baby up from preschool, and then I started doing all the prep, uh, you know, cutting up. <laughs> I haven't released Jill's um, juice-making video yet either, so y'all will see all of the vegetables that I prepped and cut up that Wednesday. So I was on my ankle at least nine or ten hours. It, it was really hurting me. But when I got to Jill's on Thursday, she was doing all the cooking, and there really wasn't a lot more that I had to do, so I wasn't on my ankle as much on Thursday. So by Friday, I was done in. <laughs> that was it. I've been in that recliner since Friday. So that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, which makes everything worse. I mean, it helps my ankle, but then my back and, and 
and all my, my shoulders, my lower back, my legs, everything is just so weakened. I just hate this. I mean, it, it hurts to even take a step because I haven't used my muscles that much. And when I do use them, boy, do they ever cry out for help. But my ankle is better. I do have a little bit of a sharp pain when I put weight on it. I brought the Ace bandage, so I'm going to um, keep it wrapped today. And y'all don't fuss at me for babysitting because I, I have to. Jill has to work. And Ife's old enough now. She really doesn't require a lot of hands-on care anymore. You know, she can put herself on the toilet and I don't have to pick her up and sit her on the toilet. She has a little step stool anyway that she can use. But, but I can stay on the sofa basically all day today and um, fix her lunch. And then um, I don't have to walk out to the bus stop, Issa. All I have to do is stand at the door so that the bus driver can see me. Um, and Issa, you know, the bus driver will let him off the bus as long as she sees me. So y'all don't fuss at me for babysitting because it has to be done. If a grandma has to do what a grandma has to do, right? I'm thankful to Jill because she made a lot of videos for me. I probably have, let's see, she made, I did the dressing video. Oh, she did the sweet potato, um, candy sweet potato. So I'll, re I'll upload that video. And then she did one, um, the juicing video. And then she did one where she made her sweet potato and pecan pies. So I think I still have three more of her videos to upload. So I'm not going to be, you know, although I want to be in the kitchen cooking and, and filming, I just can't. I have to let this ankle heal completely. So thank y'all for understanding that. But I did want to do a video showing y'all some of the things that I would suggest that you might want to buy for last minute Christmas gifts. And I'll try to get some orders from y'all by uh, using my Amazon link. Uh, it's free to use. I will leave it in the description box below. And it just takes you to my link. Don't even look at my storefront or my uh, list or anything because it's just a mess. I, I have stuff in my list that I bought for myself or bought for friends or may have suggested a couple of years ago. I haven't I haven't really spent much time on that, but if you get a chance to use my Amazon link, I will receive a small commission off of everything that you order from Amazon and it's free. It's free for you to use and it's a way to, to support me and the work that I do here on YouTube and I would just appreciate it so much. So you just click on the Amazon link and then when you order, I will receive a small commission. My commission from Amazon, it shows that I've been lacking two or three months for me to earn $11 in commission, $11.35 and I got that little deposit yesterday. So thank you for that. I'm, I'm appreciative of it. But um, like all of us, we strive to earn more money whenever we can uh, to support ourselves and pay our bills and buy our food. So thank you for being here today. I just appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, please give me a thumbs up because now um, YouTube has deactivated the thumbs down button. And I'm happy for that because there are haters and jealous old trolls out there that that's their mission in life to go to uh, <laughs> channels that they don't like and give them thumbs down so YouTube has deactivated the dislike button so I have um, turned on my turn my like button back on so you can leave a like and if you want to if you like the video and it will count. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. You will be loved and accepted. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.